What's the Loves dirtiest place you found at the gym? The dirtiest place I found at the gym wasn't equipment at all. It was actually the water fountain, and that had E. coli from feces. Oh. Disgusting. Oh. What's okay. intriguing, Leslie, was that actually it grew bacteria both before and after you had cleaned the equipment. So tell us your thoughts on the cleaning and the actual products used for cleaning. So the whole reason I did this investigation wasn't just to see how many germs were at the gym. I wanted to see if the cleaning supplies provided by these gyms worked. And for the most part, they did not work. If you're using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer and you rub it on your hands, as it's evaporating, that's where its effectiveness comes into play. So if, if your hands are still wet from whatever hand sanitizer you've used and you start touching other things, they hadn't had a chance to do its job. What I, what I will say about your investigation that I think is, is alarming is the dangerous pathogens. We've heard about entire wrestling teams and football teams coming down with these MRSA skin infections because they're in such close contact. Mm -hmm. What, what were your findings with, with MRSA and how concerned should we be? We didn't find MRSA, but you should make sure if you're at the gym and you have a cut or you have an abrasion or even if you have cracked skin from dry weather, you should be careful to not make contact with a lot of the stuff that you're putting your body on or rubbing up against like this or mats like that because you don't know what's there. This was just a sampling of three gyms.